Cape penguins are in fact birds, and although they keep trying, cannot fly. Dusson Island, just off the coast of Cape Town in the cold Atlantic, is home to about 50,000 Cape penguins and is a prime breeding ground for about 20,000 couples. Penguins are monogamous and couples return to the same breeding spots year after year and can be together for up to 15 years. If both eggs survive, penguins normally have two chicks each and both parents take it in turns looking after the nest and finding food. Although sociable birds, some are quite protective over their patch. Their lineage is largely uncertain, but penguins are older than whales, originating about five million years ago, and were definitely descendants of flying birds. Penguins take it in turns to forage for food, and frequent fishing trips are necessary when there are chicks dependent on them. Dawson Island is close to a main shipping route, and oil spills are a real danger to this colony. Oil clogs up penguin feathers, and they can lose their waterproofing. But more importantly, when they try to preen, they ingest the oil, causing all sorts of problems. Their eyes are particularly prone to damage by oil. On the 23rd of June 2000, the ship, the Treasure, sank 40 kilometers south of Dawson Island, leaking 1,300 tons of diesel. With the oil slicks surrounding the colony, over 50,000 adults and 20,000 chicks were infected, an estimated 44% of the world's penguin population. And unless action was taken, these birds would die. A massive operation was undertaken to save these birds, and several thousand volunteers got involved in the big cleanup. More than 20,000 affected birds were collected and transported to clean-up centers in and around Cape Town. Each penguin needed to be hand-washed using a mild detergent. Eyes, being especially sensitive to the oil, needed to be treated and special formulas of eye drops were used. And as these birds had been unable to feed themselves, they had to be hand-fed to regain some of their strength. And most importantly, swimming lessons. Having lost their waterproofing, the penguins needed time in pools to splash around and regain their lost seaworthiness. Eventually tagged, cleaned, waterproof, and free. And after a long awaited fishing trip, they wasted no time in getting back home. The birds which were released were very severely stressed by the whole experience and this may affect their future breeding success. It is also not known whether the oil has done any genetic damage, so that it is still possible that the offspring of some of the released birds may not themselves be fertile. Although it is largely understood that penguins mate for life, there are some divorces each year, and the African penguin tends to have the highest divorce rate, which can be up to 60%. But for those penguin families that stay together, it is generally a close bond, with both parents taking an active role in looking after and rearing the chicks.